Thank you very much, uh, Rasta Marshall, Rasta Femi Palano, who initiated this from the beginning of my trial until this point. Uh, we have always stated that this uh, whole trial was politically motivated to curtail our fundamental rights to participate in the political affairs of our country. Uh, so over five or six reliefs were sought. One that is most important is now resolved in our favor, uh, which is that my restriction to the city of Abuja, which is unheard of in the history of uh, probably the last two times it was done, was against uh, pa Michael Imodu, who was a labor leader, and this was imposed by the, uh, the colonial regime, the colonial masters. They restricted him to, I think, all chi. In 1963, Chief Obafe World War II, for political reasons, was restricted to Lekki area of Lagos. I am the third person in the history of Nigeria to be restricted to one city. So that has been lifted. The judge who read the judgment made it clear that uh, that was excessive and uh, it violated my rights to freedom of movement. There are other reliefs that were sought that uh, they claimed were resolved against us. Uh, the lawyers are in a better position to tackle this and he has uh, spoken to the fact that uh, he will consult with uh, our more senior comrade and colleague and father uh, in law, in, in, in the law <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> uh, to ensure that those issues are also resolved fundamentally in our favor. Uh, this is a sign to, I mean, this is a this is, this is a service to those in government who think that they can freely violate the rights of uh, citizens uh, because they have access to instruments of justice that is compromised. Uh, as I've said, you can also tell that in part uh, this targets our right to participate in the political affairs of the country, in the elections. Because now they've also denied me the right to go and visit my family in the U.S., claiming that if I if I'm granted that opportunity, I will I may not come back. And your right to the press. And the right to no, the press was not was not granted. Uh, no, the the right to speak to the press was not involved in part of our relief. So I will keep talking to the press. <laughs> you know, of course, uh, but. Uh, you see, fundamental human rights are fundamental human rights. Yes, yes. And the exercise of it is also very fundamental to our existence. Yes. Somebody cannot say, for instance, that you have no right to breathe because it depends on your existence. Exactly. So the lawyers will take care of uh, the other issues. The most important issue is that uh, very soon you can see me in any part of Nigeria. <laughs> But technology has resolved that. Yes. Yes. Uh, if I'm unable to get to you physically, I may be able to get to you virtually. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. uh, spiritually. So yes. while, yes. while they are here living in the past, uh, still flying around with rooms at night, <laughs> uh, Skype has been invented, yes. Zoom has been invented, yes. Twitter spaces have been invented. Yes. Uh, Facebook life has been invented. Instant life has been invested, uh, invented. And also, telepathy continue to develop. Exactly. Uh, you know, where we can talk to ourselves, you know, by reading each other's minds and lips. So, uh, we keep moving. And the revolution can never be stopped. Yes. And that's it. Yes. Nothing can stop an idea. Uh, nothing can stop an idea whose time We have it on record and in history that uh, Kwame Nkrumah was persecuted in Ghana. He won the election to be Ghana's president almost the day after he came out of detention and jail. So it will not be different here. Yes. After all these efforts, 
you know, what we call Kurukere movement. You know, uh, we are still going to win the election in 2022. Yes! 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 So, we continue to respect our judiciary, even though they are trying to desecrate the judiciary. But most importantly, we continue to respect our people. And I want to thank all of you who are here with us and probably thousands and millions who we get to hear this message yes, sir. that we have finally arrived at that point See, well, well. that they have been running away from. <laughs> uh, and I want to thank them also for restricting me to Abuja because I did not done it, we would not have met and known most of you. Yes, yes. Of course. I did not done it, they wouldn't have been Buhari Moscow. Yes, so, yes. I did not done it, they probably wouldn't have been an answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Because Thank you, Baba. We were the ones who started NSAS in Nigeria. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going to the headquarters of the Nigeria Police Force. Yes, sir. If they didn't restrict me to Abuja, I would not have been part of that history. History or epoch making event in Nigeria. That's yes, one of the best things that happened to this country. And one of the best things that happened to me. So, I want to thank all of you who have always been here. Please let me just finish. I know. Uh, who have always been with us. We have attended every court sessions we had. The trial itself has not ended. I think they are waiting for this ruling. Uh, but the trial's leg has already broken. Mm -hmm. Because apart from this judgment, we have two other judgments that declare the activities to be illegal. Uh, when the judge decides to call us and he's forced to stop the trial, every other thing associated with the trial will fall apart. Yes. That is very important for us. Uh, so we are, you are aware of Buhari, Malami, and the rest of the jokers that see yourself now. You see yourself. So, uh, one last thing we'll say before we start heading out is that the timetable for our campaign will have started immediately. Oh, yes. Uh, start organizing where you are for us to come and continue the campaign. Possess the world. Possess the world. It will be one of the most strenuous campaigns ever witnessed by this country. And, and let me tell you, they are going to lose in 2023. They are going to lose so bad. They are going to lose so bad, some of them may never recover from it. I'm tired of working with I just want to say, Aluta Kozila Yes, so she raised appeal court on uh, his preparation has been granted. She has been granted uh, his freedom out of Abuja. Over two years now, over two years now, she has been restricted to Abuja FCT. We won! Yeah, you can see the excitement. She has been granted his freedom out of Abuja. She can now travel across uh, all states in Nigeria. The yes, you can see, so we are not Yes, you can see, you can see the crowd is cheering, everyone is excited. So we can now travel across the country. 2023, vote show, vote right. You see, everyone is excited, everyone is excited. You can see everyone is excited. Shure's freedom has been granted. Shure cannot travel across the country. Go ahead, I'll come. Okay.
the illegal bail condition that is treated. It's a freedom day. It is a celebration day. This is what celebrating. You can see the excitement. Everyone is happy. Young people are happy. You can see the excitement. You can see the excitement. You can see the excitement. People are happy. Young people are happy. Young people are happy. Freedom come out. Freedom is here. My struggles. Come. You can see. Young people are excited. This is huge. This is a huge victory for the people. This is a huge victory for Nigerian people. Michael, I'm 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 Sir, what do you have to say? Uh, we've spoken already, and um, they have been disgraced. <laughs> Restriction to Abuja is lifted, so I'll see you guys anywhere soon. Um, anytime soon, man. All right. Wow, it's a huge victory for us.